Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Anna. Today is going to be a Timu haul. Now these are items that I purchased myself, but you're still going to be able to find the links down below to find the products. You'll find the purchase prices for them too. You'll see the prices right down below. I'll put it on the first comment. I'll, I'll pin it so you could click right on it, okay? And then you can see everything and the prices, okay? So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first product I got is something that's supposed to help clean out the lint from the dryer. I have to take a moment to think. There was, unfortunately, last year there was a house that burnt down in our community because the lint in their dryer caught on fire. The whole house burned down to the ground. Lint will catch on fire if it's not cleaned out properly, if it accumulates and it's very important that you keep track of your lint trap and the whole axis from the outside of the house into the house. So I purchased this. Now I did put it together already. It did come apart. Your hose goes in here for your vacuum cleaner. Then you stick this inside where the dryer lint goes into so it can vacuum up as much lint as possible. I do use a brush, a big long custom bottle brush that you can get to clean out the lint trap as well. I do have that, but I wanted to have an addition to it and this was gonna work out great. So when you get it, um, you're gonna see that it comes apart like this. Then it comes right, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this apart, yeah, okay. Then it comes apart like that. So you need to put these together and I had to put this on a flat surface to do it, it's a little hard, but it's in there now. Then you put this piece right here put the hose and put this in the, in the lint trap. Okay. So that's the first item that I purchased. The next one is Uno cards. Yay. Who doesn't love Uno? They have different variations of Uno cards there. It was a really nice treat to find. Um, we love to play Uno and our last two sets are pretty much scattered throughout the house. So it was great to find a pack of Uno. So they do have those available in the various kinds that they, they have different kinds. All right. The next item that I wanted to share with you, let me put this over here out of the way. Let's see. Are these cute little wooden spoons? I love these little wooden spoons and they come in different colors. This is the light. This is the medium. And then they had a darker one. These are fantastic. If you want to put them inside your sugar bowls, you want to, Use them to get your different teas out, whatever it is that you might need a little scooper for. And you could just attach it outside of the little jars, add a little bow to it or what have you, and scoop out what you need. These are just adorable. And they're wood. And I love this whole wood look. Love it. Let me put this over here. Then the next item I got, this box has seen had seen better days it got a little smoshed in the trip as you can tell got a little smoshed but um these are natural bamboo toothbrushes okay and this is a pack of 10 10 bamboo toothbrushes 10 so i was like okay i'm all in so you get 10 of them and it was at a really good price oh thank you bubba oh i just look i just got a meal <laughs> I'm going to put this over here while I do my video. There we go. It's lasagna with some um, baguette bread with butter. Oh, the cheese on top. It looks good. Okay. Uh, here we go. Let's pull one out and let's take a peek at her. So you get 10, again, bamboo, earth-friendly, renewable source. Looks like that. And this is what they look like. And the bristles are like a medium. A medium going into a soft. A medium going into a soft. So they do feel good though. And they're green. And it feels good in the hand. So for the price that I paid for, I remember when I picked it up, I was like, wow, that is a deal. That is a really good deal. So I got that. And we are a family of six. So these type of things, you know, they add up after a while. <laughs> they certainly do. Okay, um, the next item I'm going to talk about is this beautiful brooch. And I'm going to do various things, including this little guy right here. He's keeping me company, Mr. Gerbil. 
we're going to talk about him too. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful, if you see it in person, it's more luminescent because the lighting in here is not very good. But if you see it in person, it is just brilliant. It has a lot of color play. It looks dull here on the video. In person, it is striking. I mean, striking. Um, and what I love about it is not only is a brooch, but it has a bail so I can use it as a charm, as a pendant on a necklace. And that's what I will be doing. So I highly recommend this one if you see it. It looks dull here on my um, screen, but in person, the colors are brilliant and sparkly. I promise. Beautiful. Then the next item I chose were these. Now, um, you know, I, I pick up my kids every single day from school, but I'm out in the parking lot for a good hour. As I speak, I'm, I'm looking around for one more item. I don't know where it went. I got two different variations of um, window covers. I'm wondering where the other one went. <laughs> I'm trying to think where I put it. All right, so I got this kind and this one does have like the Velcro. So it includes like a Velcro and they look like this. So it's, I think this is the one that has the two, yeah, the two for the front and two for the rear. Oh, two for the front and two for the rear. And they're the kind that you're supposed to be able just to slide on with no problems. This is the one for the front because it has the side view mirror one and you just slide it over your, your door where the, where the um, window goes and then the air can come in and out, but it gives you a little bit of shade and protects you from the sun and it lets you have air at the same time. It keeps the bugs out. So I wanted these for that purpose and I'm looking forward to trying them out because I do have an SUV. But I got one other kind. I'm not just sure where it went, but I do have one other kind. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out. But they do have this, so you can see what I mean. Okay, see? See that? So you just slide it right over your window. Okay, so I got that for my car. Now we need a grout. Let's do the bathroom really quick. I need a grout, regrout this bathroom over here. So I got these grouting tools and um, these should help greatly with the grouting. This one, this one helps to, to take the grout off. You literally slide it. You see how it has like that pointed edge. You literally slide it across the grout and it digs it out of the wall. And it has that corner. You see how it's, it has a corner? So you just slide it through and it just pushes it out from the wall. Then this one is once you get your grout, when you do your whole line of grout, then you go behind it and you, you know, you flatten it out. You use this tool. Okay. I normally use my finger and that's hit or miss. So to be able to find this, hopefully that'll work a whole lot better. So I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this in the bathroom because it needs to be grouted. Then um, the, the, the next bathroom item <laughs> were these uh, sink covers. As I have long hair and, you know, it's just nice when you can catch the hair and then you don't have to, you know, get the, uh, the digger in there. And these do have the stoppers. Now I'm hoping that it will work well because ours kind of sticks up higher. So I'm going to see how how well it works we'll see how it works i did get two for that purpose but they are very flexible as you can see so there you go i got two of those and i also picked up some of those double-sided sticky tape that everybody was raving about how well it works now these um it's sticky on one side it's sticky on the other but you have to take that tape off it's almost like a sticker you see that it's can you see it's almost like a sticker you got to take off from the top to get the other sticky half um, available to you. So they had different sizes and it come in different, uh, different amounts. So I got those two for myself. 
Then towards my um, jewelry making, craft craft making, I do junk journals and I like to make jewelry and all kinds of stuff. And I was trying my hand at making charms. And they have these beautiful already done pearl drops. And um, these came in these really great colors here. And it's just ready for you just to put on and go. I mean, all the work is done for you. And the colors are so pretty. And they also had it in the gold and pearl. And they had it in the silver and pearl. So those are the ones that I got. Wait a minute, Baba. Then um, I got these buttons. These buttons look like clocks. And I got them to work with my dollhouse miniatures. And let me show you a couple of them so you can see what I'm talking about. Thank you. So you can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. I'm going to see if I could try to show you some of them without making them fall. See, they look like clocks and they have different, they have different designs. And I figured I can use these for my dollhouse. Even though they're buttons, they have clock faces on them. Can you guys see them? They're really pretty. They're very pretty. And then you got like a whole bag. And I was like, I'm in. I'm in, honey. I'm in. So I got those for my dollhouse miniatures. Then I also chose to get, what did I do with the box? I got this from my car. Now, the box has seen better days, but this is a phone holder. It's a 360 free rotation phone holder that you put on your rear view mirror right here. It attaches to the back of your rear view mirror, and then it goes down like this. So you can, you know, be hands free, but also do what you need to do, follow directions. Or if you're in a car sitting in a parking lot like me, I can record videos. I could do whatever I need to do and just do chats if I'd like as well. But what I will tell you is I put it together because you do have to put it together. Okay, this is an iPhone 6. That's an iPhone 6, okay? That's an old iPhone. And this just fits my iPhone 6. It would fit something just slightly bigger, but not one of these newer, newer brands that are like this much bigger. It's not going to work. It's not. Because it just doesn't stretch that far. It does not. It's it's just holding this right now. So if you have like an iPhone 6 and you want a good holder for the rear view mirror, this one would work great. And I did um, have to put it together. And it only took a minute and a half to put it together. The instructions are right here in the back. Super easy. One, two, three, four, and boom, you're done. And um, yeah, so I wanted to show you what it looks like with my phone. So there you go for that one. But that box that got that box got a little beat up <laughs> on the trip. <laughs> then I needed some new mouth guards. So they had these this whole I was like they have a whole bunch of different mouth guards. Um if you grind your teeth, I grind my teeth. I was looking for some new ones. This one's anti-grinding, anti-snoring, teeth whitening tray, dental guards, protect comfort and hygiene. And you get, I think it's like I think it's supposed to be like uh, several of these in here, like a pack of six or eight. I didn't open it up, but let's, let's do it together to make sure that I got the right one because it's supposed to have several in here. I'm going to use my little Timu cutter that looks like a little cloud. This is a very good little handy tool when you need one. All right. So let's see what it looks like in the inside. And okay, yeah. So you get a whole bunch of these clear guards. I'll tell you how many. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to soften it up in water and then it conforms to your mouth. Once it gets warmed up, you stick it in your mouth, you go like this, and it conforms to your mouth and your teeth. So it'll be very comfortable. Now, these aren't the really big, big kind which I can't stand because it makes me feel like I'm gagging. These are a little bit on the shorter side, thank goodness, because um, I was hoping I didn't get the real big kind, but I got one, two, three, four, five. This one's a bigger one right here, look. 
So it comes in different sizes. You see that? You see how this one's bigger than that one? So they, they give you different sizes. That's nice. So they give you a... Wow, I didn't even know it came in different sizes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it goes from really big to like small, seven. So I guess it all depends on your comfort level. They do also include the container where you put it in at night when you need to take your um your thing out. Oh, eight. Look, here's another one in there, eight. So there's eight guards plus the container. That was a really good deal. When I, when I purchased it, the price was like amazing. So again, everything is going to be linked down below. Just use my link, click it, and then you'll see the prices. I also picked up um, this washi. I thought it was really pretty. Let me pull it out. So you can see how much is in there and really get in a good gist of the designs. And I use washi on everything from making cars to using it on my calendar. I put it on picture frames. I put it on my mirrors in my house to decorate my mirrors. And I take them off when I want to have a whole new look. I put it on my refrigerator. I make little squares. I do all kinds of things with my washi. So this washi is really, really, really pretty. It looks a whole lot better in person. Um, the lighting in here just, it's not good. I'm sorry. Ooh, but you get a lot. Here we go. And that's how much you get. That's what I wanted to show you. So really pretty designs to have a lot of foiling on it. I know you don't see it very well here. I need to go ahead and get myself a light. <laughs> my, kid, my kids killed my ring light that I had to tape. It's gone. It got, it, it died a long time ago. But these are absolutely gorgeous. So if you see these, um, don't hesitate. They look so much better in person. They're absolutely beautiful. And they stick well because I, I gave it a little test. And they stuck, they stick very well. It's a gorgeous set. Okay. So there you go. And I had some other washi from before and it was really nice. Now I picked up these little books. Let me see. Yeah, I got four of these little books. And... They're little and the pages are like acetate, I guess. Uh, not like acetate because they feel almost more like wax paper almost, but without the wax, but, um, they're very little and that's what it looks like. And that one is called letters. You see how tiny it is. Then this one's called daily things. These will look cute in the junk journals, scattered about inside of a junk journal. Daily things. And then this one is called the story, the story link. And she looks like that. And this one has pictures, like little stories. Then this one is called oil paintings. And I thought maybe I could have had used these in my dollhouse, but they're so light and transparent that it would be difficult to use. So I think I'd have to use it in my junk journals. Then I did get some, um, I did get some dollhouse miniature items. I got this really cute trunk I wanted to share with you. If you're into dollhouse miniatures, it comes with the straps um, that are movable. You can remove them if you like. It does open and it is really pretty in the inside beautiful little trunk. If you see that, this is 112 scale. That's really cool looking. The next one is this little box. This is coming up in one of my future Timu hauls as well, but I'm going to show it to you now because if you're a miniaturist, you know, these sell out rather quickly and it looks like this comes with the little mirror and everything and all the doodads inside. And it's a good 112 scale. So be on the lookout for that one. I did pick up this clock. And it's this beautiful wood, um, it has like a uh, plastic, but it looks like glass and it has the gold and then it has the um, little sticker in the middle. Very pretty though. So I picked up that one. Then I also got this little faux, uh, lion's head fountain. Um, really cool looking for a dollhouse miniature and you can paint this white or whatever and bronze it up if you want. Uh, yeah. So a very cool item to get. So I got that. 
Then I also picked up three of these. These are the placemats and they look like pieces of wood and they are wipe clean type deal because they're like plastic. So these are great if you have kiddos or if you're just a messy Tessie that, you know, you got lots of little spills, you fumble a lot, you know, um, this is easy cleanup and it has this great rustic, you know, just cut piece of wood look to it. Very cool looking and I love it. So I got three of those and it looks so much better in person than it does sitting here. I really need to get myself a light. Um, and then I got this little guy. I know he's been sitting there quietly. This is Mr. Hamster Gerbil. He's a hamster, I think. Yeah, hamster. He is a big guy. He comes in three or four different colors. This is the one that I chose. I wasn't too sure how he was going to look. If I would have known he would have been this cute, I would have gotten two. Um, but, you know, one is going to do for now. You see his little sweet feet. This is how big he is on the side. He's got his little face, his little ears. And he's a nice little plush. Uh, this was shown as a seat back for like a child or for like a chair if you need some cushion or if you like somebody that just likes plushies i like plushies they're just absolutely gorgeous and this one feels really good in the hand so i would recommend this one this is a cute one to have yeah very cute let me put this little guy here don't eat my dinner my dinner's sitting right there and um Lastly, I picked up another one of these containers so I could put some blankets away that I have. And this is just a nice way to keep them, you know, dust free and what have you when they're in a closet just sitting there for from one season to the next. It's just a nice way to put away stuff, even clothing, and you don't have to worry about any dust mites or anything like that. So I was really digging that. So I got one of those. Now they do come in different, really fun designs and colors that I just saw. So I might end up showing you some really fun designs because I'm thinking I might pick up one or two. They have like really nice designs on them. Okay. I think that's everything. I hope y'all enjoyed. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.